And I'll, I'll want to take you through some of the sections of this book that, again, I feel not only applied to combat today, but to life today. And interestingly, here's the, we'll start off a little bit with the introduction. And this is, again, written by, written after the original book came out. And this guy added this introduction to it. And he's describing how great the book is. There's a little bit of arrogance in this, but it's okay. Because he's saying, hey, he's not saying he wrote it. He's saying, look, this book is important. Mm. And here we go to the book. If you change out the people, if you change out the words, if you change out the places, and if you change out every generation, it is like the difference between rain, dew, snow, and ice. They are each formed by the same water. That's interesting, right? Because mm-hmm. now we're talking about people. Mm-hmm. Hey, you can be different times, different places, different different surroundings, but it's like the difference between rain and dew and snow and ice. It's the same water. Mm-hmm. The same people are the same. Back to the book. These words should be read by any and everyone who follows the way of the warrior. Speak them aloud so that you may hear them in your ears and fail to heed them at your peril. They are not simply words to revere and praise. If you are attempting to equate the teachings within this scroll to any other work, know that this is knowledge that can be found only after summiting the tallest peak of a mountain. The depth of the wisdom contained on these pages makes the sea seem shallow by comparison. If you were to compare a person versed in these ideas to a stone, you would find the latter soft by comparison. Pull a bowstring, launching an arrow, or pulling a bowstring, launching an arrow, raising your whip, encouraging your steed, donning your armor, taking up your lance, gaining fame and honor, and becoming one who starts a great house. Read this book, listen to it. Understand the unmistakable truths. It would be utterly foolish to not lock them in your mind. In my opinion, even if you lived through a hundred generations over a thousand years, coming across another book like this would be like to a blind turtle who comes to the surface once every hundred years, climbing its way into a hole on a piece of driftwood. (laughs) I like that.